Hello children, let us learn about shapes and spatial understanding. One day a teacher brought a model of a house and asked students to draw a picture of it. Everyone drew the same house, yet pictures were different. This picture looks from the front side of the house. If we look at the house from this side, it looks like this picture. This is side view of the house. If someone climbs a tree and looks down, the house would look like this. So this is the top view of the house. If you look at a pencil box from different sides, it would look different. Can you tell what it is? It's a car. It's a top view of a car. So an object may look different if we see it from different sides. Do you like magic shows? The magician just brought a pyramid of magic. And boom! Something came out when he opened the pyramid. Look! When he, we open the pyramid, it becomes a flat pattern. Same way when the magician opened the box, it also become a flat design like this. If we fold this pattern, it would become a box again. We often fold paper to make planes, boat, birds, etc. Isn't it? This art of folding paper is called origami. It's a Japanese tradition. Let's play with shapes a little more. My friend is shifting to their new home. Look at their floor. Wow, it looks so beautiful. Look, same shapes are repeated again and again. Each tile has a flower and few other shapes. Now, this is their bathroom wall. Though this design looks so complicated, but it is made of rectangle and square only, isn't it? Now, look at this beautiful design. This is made of triangle, square, rectangle and other shape of different colors. Together they are making such a nice design. So whenever you look at a pattern or design, observe what shapes are used to make it. Like this nice rangoli made by Khushi. One day Aman asked her how does she make rangoli or muggu. She replied, I used to observe the shapes my mom uses in her rangoli and learn to draw them. So keep observing the pattern and their associated shapes children.